lightning strikes in a field where there are some grazing cows. Several lines of equipotential are shown. Which cow is safer? Let's look at this by drawing our own lines of equipotential. So we'll have several lines of equipotential surfaces that are emanating from a lightning strike. As a result of that lightning strike, from the picture in the problem, we see that the potential decreases with distance from the center at which the lightning struck. Each one of these concentric rings represents a line of equipotential. Think of it as a contour line or a contour map. Every point on each of these lines represents a constant value of equipotential. Now we have two cows shown. One cow, and this is going to be a horrible picture of a cow, one cow is approximately on one of the surfaces. All of its feet are approximately on one of the equipotential lines. While another cow's feet straddle two equipotential lines. Well, based off of this, which cow do you think is safer? Well, remember the idea that charges will accelerate based off of differences in potential. A positive charge will accelerate from high to low potential because high to low potential represents the direction of the electric field and positive charges move in the direction of an electric field. So here, the highest potential is right in the center where the lightning struck and decreases with distance. So I know if there were a positive charge right here, deposited by the lightning, for example, that positive charge will then begin to accelerate outward to lower and lower potential. Negative charges, on the other hand, will accelerate from low to high potential. Now I say accelerate because I'm neglecting any other fields and forces that may be involved. So I'm only assuming right now that the only force we have involved is the electric force, and the only field we have is the electric field that sets up an electric potential in space. The main concept to know is that charge will move, and we'll say accelerate, in the direction of a change in electric potential. For a positive charge, that will be from high to low potential, and for negative charges, that's low to high potential. We know there must be positive charges that were deposited by the lightning. A charge current is dangerous if it can move across your body. What's in the middle of, let's say, your feet and your head is your heart. So between 
each set of these cow's feet between the hind feet and the fore feet is their heart. Well, if charges move from high to low potential for positive charges, notice that for the cow with both feet on the same equipotential line, the difference in electric potential is approximately zero. Since the difference in electrical potential between the feet of that cow is approximately zero, it's going to be unlikely for charge to move across that cow's body and through its heart to electrocute it. But let's look at the cow that is farther away. Even though that cow is farther away, let's look at the change. Let's look at the difference in potential between the feet of that cow. So one foot of the cow is on 1,500 kilovolts. The other foot is on 500 kilovolts. Let's just take that to the other page just for more room. And I will then use this as an opportunity to blow up the picture of my cow. One of these lines is the 1500 kilovolt line. The other line is the 500 kilovolt line. The cow's heart is right in the middle. And between the equipotential lines, we know there is a potential difference. So if we look at an accelerating charge, that accelerating charge will first cross the 1500 kilovolt line before crossing the 500 kilovolt line. So the difference in electric potential between the feet of this cow is a thousand kilovolts. That charge is going to move right across the cow's body likely causing some damage to the heart because the heart depends on regular electrical stimulation. This is a burst of electrical stimulation. 1,000 kilovolts of potential difference versus the cow that was approximately standing on one equipotential line even though the actual value of this equipotential line is much higher than the individual lines that the, that the second cow, the cow that's farther away crosses, even though 2,500 kilovolts is higher than 1,500 kilovolts, the, the fact that this cow is safer, it's because there is zero or approximately zero difference in potential between its feet. And since it's approximately zero potential difference between its feet, you will not get a charge going across the feet through the heart. This cow is a lot safer than the other cow. The moral of the story is this. It is not the value of voltage that is dangerous. Or let me rephrase that. It's not the value of electric potential at a point that's dangerous. At a single point, it could be a thousand volts. It could be a million volts. It could be a billion volts. That doesn't matter. What matters is if there is a change of potential between two points. That potential difference, that voltage, will cause charges or enable charges to accelerate. If it's a positive charge, they will accelerate from high to low potential. Negative charge from low to high. Either way, those charges will only accelerate in response to a difference in electric potential. So which cow is safer? the one in which its feet are at the lower difference in potential.